you for joining us for another Sunday worship here at Fresh One Missions and Outreach. Throughout the month, you will be viewing a rebroadcast of some of our past time services. Please remember to like and share these services with your family and friends. You can find us on Facebook Live and YouTube at Fresh Wind Missions and Outreach. You can also follow us on Instagram at Fresh Wind Missions. Now let's get ready to have some church. Lift your hands unto the Lord and say, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all that you've done. Thank you, Lord, for what you've been to us, God. We thank you and praise you right now as we're going before the Lord in prayer. Put your prayer requests in mind uh, and we, as we pray before the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. God, we thank you just because you're God just because you are holy and you're worthy to be praised. The angels bow before you and the heaven and earth adores you. What a mighty God we serve. We thank you because you are real, you are true, you are holy. You are blessed in this place right now, God. There is none like you. There is none that compares to you. None can match you, God. And we thank you for your power and your glory right now, God. And we ask you right now if there's any forgiveness Forgiveness that we need for anything said or done in this day, God. Cause us to be forgiving, God. Cause us to be uh, walk upright before you, God. Make your face to shine upon us, God. Grant us your peace once again, God. Give us your glory once again, God. Grant your anointing once again, God, that we might be in your will and your way, God. Being prepared as a church that's ready for your coming, God. Oh, God, and we ask you to look on this service right now, God, as we reach others, God. We ask you to bless us from the sound of our voice, God. Bless us from the beginning of the service to the ending of the service, God. You hear the, you hear the singing, you hear the praying, you hear the word, God. Let it be edifying to the souls that watch this video, God. Let it be edifying to the world, God. Let them know that Jesus lives and Jesus saves and he delivers and he heals and he sets free and our minds can be free. Our hearts can be free if we walk in him, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you right now, God, because you have proven yourself to be mighty, wonderful, mighty, God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace in our lives, God. We Even in a chaotic world, God, you are everything that we need to, to get through this these days and times, God. Bless our government, God. Bless those who are in government, God. Let them realize that you are the answer for the world, God. That you can bring solutions that no man can bring, God. And we thank you right now, God and we believe you for everything that you've done and everything that you're doing and the witness and the testimonies of people who are delivered on today, God. For you are love, God. And your love is greater than any kind of love that is on the earth, God. No man can match the love that you give us, God. And I thank you right now for your glory. I thank you for your power. I thank you for your omnipotence, God. I thank you for everything that you've done for us, God. And we give you the praise and we give you the honor for these things we do. Pray for God, God bless our speaker, even on today, God. Bless our speaker, our overseer, God. Bless him on today. Bless the word, God. Let it come forth with precision and uprightness in the name of Jesus. And we give your name the praise. We give your name the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Put your hands together and bless him. Yes, he's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. I give him praise right here on Facebook. I give him praise on social media. 
He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be lifted up. Oh God, we give you glory, God, because you are the answer to everything. We give you glory, God, because you are strong and mighty, mighty in battle, God. When we're going through struggles, you are good. And we give you praise right now because there's nothing like you. And we glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Our scripture reading is coming from the 150th Psalms, which says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the temple and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Let's praise God for the word of God. came to tell somebody that Jesus went to Calvary to save a wretch like you and me. That's the love. Oh, yeah, that's the love. Y'all help me say it. Jesus went, yes, he did. Oh, Jesus went to Calvary to save a wretch. Save a wretch.
sharing with you Fresh Wind Missions and Outreach in Sacramento, California, where my younger sister, Evangelist Shirley Dove, is the site leader. Amen. And certainly to Sister Amber and Sister Jade and all of you that are working so hard to, amen, work on this virtual platform of bringing us together. I thank you again for sharing with us. Those of you that are joining us by the internet, those of you that are joining by the stream, Facebook and YouTube and amen and Zoom or whatever platforms that they are there on. I appreciate you being here today. I came to share good news with you. Amen. That God is in the blessing business and what you need, God's got it for you. Amen. I pray that you would stay with me just for the next few moments. Amen. It's such a pleasure and such an honor to share with you in the name of the Lord. And certainly we thank God for our pastor, our honorable bishop, Daryl K. Duff Sr. Thank you so much for applauding him. Amen. All of you, the precious people of God, every pastor, every leader that will join on this particular virtual platform, I salute you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's get ready to go right into the word. I am excited because what God is getting ready to do, amen, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard of the good things that God has in store for you. So this Sunday morning, I've come to share with you that there are some good things coming your way. If you've been struggling, if you've been going through, I came with good news from glory that things are about to turn in your favor and God is getting ready to work things out. If you would, amen, get ready to turn with me to Romans the 8th chapter. Romans chapter number 8. I'm going to read six verses there scatteredly, amen, uh, out of the King James Version, but uh, Romans chapter number 8 will be our focal scripture for today. And now, Father, we thank you we thank you because you've been good to us. We thank you because you've been merciful to us. We thank you once again for joining us together. And though the miles and the distance may be there, there is no distance in you. So God, whatever the need is, I pray that you would meet it. In Jesus' precious name, we love you and we thank you right now. Our soul says amen and amen. Romans chapter number 8. Romans chapter number 8. I'm going to begin reading at verse number 28 and then skip around just a little bit. If you would, just give me about 20 minutes and I promise you, I will not hold you on this morning. Such a pleasure once again to share and to be with you once again in the name of the Lord. Uh, Romans chapter number 8, verse 28 out of the King James Version reads on this wise, and we know that all things work together 
for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Uh, if we skip down to verse number 31, it says, what shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? I'm going to skip again to verse number 35, and it reads, who shall separate us? From the love of Christ shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword. Verse 37 through 39 is our conclusion. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. Concluding verse, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Thank God for the reading of his word may be sanctified in the city of our soul. And we say amen. I'm, uh, I'd like to just very quickly talk to you from the subject on today. Your love keeps lifting me higher. Your love keeps... Uh, February, this is the month of love. We've had Valentine's Day. We've shared um, with our loved ones. I'm sure you have and enjoyed the day. Amen. And we pray that that would continue not on the one day only, but it would continue... Uh, through the rest of this year that we share love with one another. It is a commandment of God. Um, but uh, I'd like to speak to you just for a few moments from the subject, your love keeps lifting me, keeps lifting me higher. Came to share with you on today that we are in a dangerous time. We are in a uh, leery time in, a, in uh, our lives and um, we are in a particular circumstance of difficulty concerning this pandemic and the things that are going on in our world that surrounds us now. There is so much unrest, there is so much injustice and inequality, amen. But uh, it is the love of God that keeps us going and keeps lifting us higher and higher. Uh, this particular chapter goes on where the writer here is expressing to us the importance of following Jesus and sharing in the commandment of his love. It teaches us about living in our everyday lives as well as living for the Lord. It teaches us about treating our neighbors and even those that unjustly uh, accuse us and those that would be our enemies, how to address them and how to even go about dealing with them. But I'd, I'd like to, if I could, just bring out a few focal points out of this particular lesson on today in the name of the Lord. One is uh, at the very beginning, verse number 28, what shall we say? With all of the injustice, with all of the things that are going on, the difficulties, problems, situations, and worries that we have in life, what shall we say to all of these things when there's perversion of the gospel, when there are false prophets, when there are those that would pervert the word of the Lord? What shall we say to these things? Well, the writer here gives us something that we could say, and that is, if God be for us, then who can be against us? Uh, 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 the, the, the beginning portion of this particular text um, that I read on today in verse number 28 starts off and says, and we know. There are some things in life that you just have to know. There are some things that you cannot guess about. There are some things that you cannot be leery about. There are some things that we must no, amen. It says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord, the called according to his purpose. 
Then it goes on when it says, what shall we say to these things uh, if God be for us? Listen, if you know that God is on your side, there is no need to worry uh, consistently because we know that it's going to work in our favor. Uh, it goes on and it says, who shall separate us? from the love of Christ. Uh, he lists some things and says, will persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Uh, but then he gives a conclusion answer and says, nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. I'm so glad I've come to share with you on today that uh, God's love extends the love that we can share with one another because when our love runs out, y'all know how it is, amen, when people don't treat us right, it is hard to love on people that are hating on you. It is hard, amen, to share love with somebody when there is nobody else, amen, acting right towards you. Come on, we might as well tell the truth, amen. There are some people that will hate on you for no good reason at all. There are people that will be jealous of you. There are people, amen, that will not, amen, come to your rescue when you get in trouble, even after you've helped everybody else and prayed for those that was going through when it's your turn. Hallelujah. That's when people seem like we'll forsake you and walk out, amen, and give up on you. But I'm so glad, I'm so glad to know that God is for us, amen. And uh, if the Lord is for us, then there is nothing that can separate us, amen. He says that in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Aren't you glad that when you didn't know how to love God, he loved us? us. Aren't you glad that in spite sometimes of us not loving our own selves, amen, God still loved us. And one writer put it this way, he said, he looked beyond my faults and he saw my needs. I'm so grateful unto God that when, amen, it looked like, amen, uh, that I was outcast and when it looked like I was all alone and did not have a God that was on my side, it was his love amen that lifted me your love keeps on doing it every time it looks like things are not going to work in my favor every time it looks like things are falling out every time it looks like uh, the bottom is dropping out from underneath me and sometimes look like the ceiling is caving in on me it is the love of God that keeps on lifting me lifting me higher amen he goes on in his writing and he says i am persuaded i have no doubt i am fully convinced that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come in other words i can't find nothing amen there is nothing to replace the love of god there is nothing that would change my persuasion now amen of knowing that god loves me glory to god i'm so glad that he loves me in spite of me hallelujah sometime i'm my own worst enemy but god still loves me i know that's not everybody's testimony i know you were saved from birth i know you got it all together but there are some of us hallelujah there are some of us that have been through some tests in life. There are some of us that have gone through some struggles and had some hard times and then amen, we've had some high hills that we had to climb over but I'm so glad that we did not give up because it is the love of God that keeps on lifting us higher in the name of the Lord. Amen. He goes on and he says not only, amen, am I persuaded that none of these things that come or that are present but nor height, nor depth, nor or any creature shall be able to separate us from the love 
of God. I'm so glad, amen, that no matter what the devil throws my way, amen, and no matter what comes in life, I'm persuaded, amen, so much about God till I'll hold on through the storm and through the rain. Amen. You might as well put it in the chat. Amen. I won't let go of God's hand. You might as well put it in the comments. Amen. It is the love of God that keeps on lifting me. It is not because I am so special. It is not because I am so wonderful. It is not because of who my uh, who I am and what my name is. It is not because, amen, of my culture background and my status financially. It is only because God loved me. Hallelujah. The truth of the matter is some of us would not be here today if it had not been for the love of God. Yo, glory to God. When we were yet in our sins without a God, amen, God found us where we were. We were lost, amen, in degradation and sin, but the love of God, hallelujah, found us where we are and he picked us up and turned us, turned us around and then he placed our feet on solid ground and every time I keep turning around now, it is the love of God that keeps on lifting me. It keeps lifting me higher. I came in my closing few moments, amen, to share with somebody to encourage somebody that's feeling discouraged on today. I came to tell you, amen, to square your shoulders. Hallelujah. Pick your head up and know, amen, that God is on your side. And I came with some good news. What was meant for evil? God is getting ready to turn that thing around. Amen. Came to share with somebody today that somebody that feels like there is no hope. Amen. I came to tell you, be encouraged because our hope is built hallelujah on nothing less than Jesus blood and his righteousness I dare not trust the sweetest frame but wholly lean our oh God on Jesus name on Christ the solid rock I stand nor the ground all other ground rather is sinking sand I came to share with somebody amen that feels like they can't make it Amen. Wipe the tears from your eyes. Amen. Get yourself together. Amen. And get ready to live better than you've ever lived in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. And we know our glory to God that all things, hallelujah, work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. And I came to tell somebody, amen in my few moments to close amen that whatever you're going through count it all joy hallelujah life may have left you half dead but the truth of the matter is you're really half alive I came to amen tell you I get joy when I think about amen what the Lord has done done for me. Amen. I get joy when I just think about uh, amen that he did not leave me. Amen. In my sins. He didn't walk away from me. But I'm so glad to know amen that the Lord loved me so much. Uh, amen. That he found me in all of the things that I was in. Uh, in the dirt and in the muck. Come on here. We might as well tell the truth. We wasn't so sweet and wonderful. Uh, we were not perfect. We were not the ones. Uh, amen. That was so amen so wonderful uh, amen that we did not do wrong but in spite of it all uh, amen God's love uh, it keeps on lifting me uh, it keeps lifting me higher uh, and I came to share with somebody if you have the Lord on your side don't you dare hang your head down uh, don't you dare get discouraged uh, and don't you dare give up on God uh, amen I heard the songwriter said don't give up on God, amen, because he won't give up on, I feel pretty good right here, because he won't give up on you, amen, I came to tell somebody here, if you have God on your side, you have the greatest love of all, I know I preached the last time I was with y'all, California, but I came to tell you again, he is, he's the greatest love of all. We might as well go ahead. I'm, I'm getting ready to close. But he is the greatest. 
the greatest love of all. Amen. I'm talking about Jesus. Amen. The first and the last. Jesus. The beginning and the end. Jesus. Amen. The keeper of creation. Amen. The creator of all. He's the architect of the universe. He's the manager of all times. He always was and always is. And he always will be. He's unmoved and unchanged. He's undefeated and never undone. He was bruised and brought healing. He was pierced and eased pain. He was persecuted and brought freedom. He was dead and brought life. He's risen and brings power. He reigns and he brings peace. Ah, God, your love, it keeps on lifting me. It keeps lifting me higher. I said higher. Amen. Every round, it goes higher and higher. The world can't understand God. The armies can't defeat him. The schools can't explain him. The leaders can't ignore him. Herod couldn't kill him. The Pharisees couldn't confuse him. The people couldn't hold him. Nero couldn't crush him. Hitler couldn't silence him. The New Age can't replace him. The talk shows can't explain him away. He is the light. And he is the love. And he is the longevity. And he is the Lord. Oh God, I wish I had one witness here. Hey God, and his love, it keeps on lifting me. It keeps lifting me higher. I said higher. I gotta hurry up and take my time. Yeah, Lord. He is goodness and he is kindness. He's gentleness and he is God. He is a holy and he is righteous. He is mighty and he is powerful and he is pure. His ways are right. His word is eternal. His will is unchanging and his mind is on me right now. He's my redeemer. Yes, he is. He's my savior. He's my God. And he's my peace. He's my joy when I'm in sorrow. And he's my hope for every tomorrow. He's my comfort. He's my Lord. He rules my life. Yeah, God. And his love. His love for me, it keeps on lifting me. I said it keeps on lifting me higher. I said higher. It keeps on going up. Yeah, Lord. He is the overseer of the overcomers. He is the sovereign Lord of all that was and all that is to come. Hey God, he loves me. He loves me so much that he promised he'll never leave me. With a hat with this, he'll never forsake me. He'll never mislead me. He'll never forget me. Yeah, Lord, never, never alone. He'll never overlook me. Oh God, he never cancels my, my appointment with destiny. I'm so glad that whenever I need him, I can call on God. Our God, he God, he's able to do exceeding and abundantly of all that we could ask and above all that we could think. And his love, it keeps on lifting me higher. I said higher. It keeps on going up every round. It keeps on going up higher and higher. Every time I feel like I can't make it. Every time I feel like I can't go. Every, oh, every, every time. I feel like, oh God, y'all don't hear that. 
Sometimes I feel like I'm not in it. Sometimes, sometimes I don't. But every time he's right there to say I'll never, I'll never walk out on you. He is God. He loves me with an everlasting love. Yeah. When I fall, he lifts me up. When I fail, he forgives me. When I'm weak, he is strong. When I'm lost, he's the way. When I'm afraid, he's my courage. When I stumble, he steadies me. When I'm hurt, he heals me. When I'm broken, he mends me. When I'm blind, he leads me. And when I'm hungry, he feeds me. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. His love. It keeps on lifting us. I don't care where you are. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you're going through. And where you are in life. The love of God. I said the love of God. The love of God. It will lift you. I said higher, yeah, his love, it will lift you up every time, every time you're down, yeah, Lord, don't get weary in well-doing, in due season, you, you're gonna read, if you think not, I came to tell somebody, hold on to God, Sooner or later, things are gonna change. Hold on to God. Sooner or later, it's gonna turn around. Yeah, Lord. His love, it keeps on lifting me. When I face trials, He's right there with me. When I feel persecution, He shields me. When I face problems, he comforts me when I pay the laws. He provides for me when I go to the valley of the shadow of death. He's right there, right there with me. Yeah, Lord, He's right there with me, and He prepares a table for me in the presence of my enemies, and my cup it runneth over. To tell somebody, show me. Show me. I said, show me. Show me. Goodness and mercy. It fell. It fell. Lord, I feel like praising the back. I got to get out of here. And then it fell. All the days of my life. He's everything to everybody. Everywhere. All the time, at the same time, he's God, he's faithful, and if that doesn't give you reason enough to praise him, let me close with this, I'm his, and he's mine, and he walks, y'all don't hear me, he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me that I am his own and the joy, the joy we share, ah, God, as we tarry, as we tarry there, no other, I said no other, has ever known, ah, yeah, 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 I'm so glad, I said I'm so, hey, God, I feel like preaching, but I got to get out of here, I got to hurry up, and take my time, yeah, God, he's mine, and I am his, and I came to tell you, amen, because of his love, it keeps on going up, higher, I said higher, y'all don't believe my testimony, I said higher, yeah, 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 I was sinking, Deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within. I was seeking to rise the more, but the master of 
the sea. He heard my mother's family cry. And from the waters, he lifted me. Now save, save my eyes. I need somebody out there on the internet to throw your hands up and say, Love lifted me. Love lifted me. When nothing else could help, it was the love, love that lifted me. Some trucks and chariots and some in horses, but we remember it was God's love. And there were some folks that would rather have houses and land. Some folks to silver and to gold. My God, but I decided. I said, I decided, hey God, I got to get out here. I decided to make Jesus my choice. I wish you would lift your hand where you are and say, Oh Lord, keep lifting me higher, higher, yeah, higher. No matter where you are, no matter what you do. Keep on loving God. I love Jesus. He's my Savior. Start the raise it. He's my shelter. Where he leads me, I will follow. I love him, I love him. I love him, I love him. I love him, I love him. Woo! Somebody praise him here. Yeah. I love Jesus. Yes, I do. Feel the praise in my soul I got to leave y'all alone But it's here the Lord That keeps on lifting me I, I came to close to tell you Your praise is about to go Higher Oh God Your worship is about to go Higher You're getting ready to live Higher you're getting ready to go over your worries and God is going to lift you higher. There is no height that you cannot reach with God on your side. Clap your hands and worship Him. Woo! Woo! Oh God. Oh God. Your love. Your love, your love, my God, it keeps on lifting me higher and higher. And you ought to get excited about it, because if it had not been for the love of God, some of us would have been dead a long time ago. Some of us would have been cut off a long time ago. Love my God, but your love, yeah, Oh God, I feel like breathing all over again. I tell you, your love keeps on lifting me.
We praise him for his love on the day. So even as we leave you, know this, that the love of God, it won't drop you, it will pick you up. And when he picks you up, no matter what you've been going through, I declare my name of the You shall praise him with a better praise. You shall glorify him with a better worship. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually. It'll be in my mouth. Somebody ought to praise him. We love you. Evangelist Shirley, I love you. Press wind, mission and outreach. God bless you. I came to town with you. God's love keeps lifting me. It keeps lifting me higher. Clap the hands of blessing. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Oh, yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's praise him for his word. Let's praise him right now. His love is lifting me higher from decade to decade. God keeps lifting me. I've seen new things that God has done. I never witnessed the, the amazing things that God can do for my life. But I thank him most of all for his love. Because he loved me. I can love other people. I can love my brother and sister. I can love the saints of God. I can love those who are unbelievers. I can love them to God. And I bless his holy name for his word. Let us pray right now. Father, in your name, we thank you for your word. We thank you for life. Oh God, we thank you for joy of the word, God. We thank you because we're encouraged to love our neighbor, love our friends, love our family, love those we need to love in the name of Jesus. God, encourage the hearts of the uh, brothers and sisters that have listened on today, God, and give them the courage and the strength to ask, what must I do to be saved if they need to be saved? Oh God, but for the believer, let them be encouraged in their hearts and mind, even if they have to do their first work over. God, but your love is the main thing that is a, a sign of your spirit, God. And we thank you and we rejoice in knowing that you're our savior. We rejoice in knowing that you're our king. And we these things we ask in Jesus' name we pray. Our souls say amen and amen. We thank our overseer, Dove or Dove, for coming with such a rich word from God. And we hope that you've been blessed on today. Please be reminded that our giving solutions, which are on the screen, are for your giving. And we ask, we thank you for your giving. And we ask that you continue to watch us on uh, uh, 2 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time, but 11 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we'll be on every Sunday giving the Word of, giving the word of God to you and presenting uh, the Lord to you every Sunday in the name of Jesus. W right now, we're going to turn it over into our overseer, Delbert's hand, Delbert Dove's hand. Let's receive him with a hearty amen. God bless you on the day. Fresh wind, missions and outreach. So glad to be here with you. Thank you again, our site leader, Evangelist Shirley Dove. Thank you, Sister Amber, Sister Jade, and all of you co workers that are working with Fresh Wind. I appreciate the fact that you've invited me to share with you on today. I pray that something was said that would encourage you, that would inspire you, amen, to know that this love that God has shared with us, it keeps on lifting us higher. I don't care where you are in life, remember, you don't have to quit. You don't have to throw in the towel because the love of God makes you more than a conqueror. 
through Christ Jesus our Lord. God bless you on today. Amen. We can't await the time where we can actually meet up. Amen. And come together in the name of the Lord. But until then, may the Lord bless thee and keep thee. May the Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.